Congratulations on your Eurosteam purchase. Inside the box you will receive your Eurosteam iron, your safety cap, three O-rings, a measuring cup and funnel, an instructional DVD, as well as an instructional manual. To bring you on a little tour of the iron, on the back you will notice there is no on and off switch on this system. You will need to plug your iron in to turn it on and unplug your iron to turn it off. On the top here, you have your safety cap to fill the iron. You also have the white button for steam and the indicator light. The Eurosteam has a built-in boiler tank. This will create very powerful pressurized high steam, similar to the ones with big separate boiler tanks. The Eurosteam has a nice compact boiler built right inside the iron for household use. The very first time you will use your Eurosteam, you will need to prime the pump. Priming the pump is very easy. You will take your safety cap and unscrew the cap on top. Then take your measuring cup and properly fill the iron. Always use your measuring cup to fill it. So you pour your water in and screw the cap back on. You will then plug your iron in to a power surge bar and the iron will take approximately three minutes to heat up and pressurize. When it's ready, the indicator light on top will shut off. You can then take your iron towards a sink and push the white button in for steam and hold it down for approximately five to seven minutes. The iron may shoot out water, which is very normal. What you are doing is priming the pump. You will only need to do this one time and that will be the very first use. The Eurosteam is very easy to use. Take your safety cap and unscrew the cap to the boiler. Use your measuring cup to properly fill your iron. Do not overfill anything below the max line. You can use tap water or bottled spring water. Distilled water is not recommended in the Eurosteam. Pour your water in to fill your iron. And then take your safety cap and tighten the cap to the boiler. You can then plug your iron in to the power surge bar and the iron takes approximately three minutes to heat up and pressurize. When it's ready, the indicator light will shut off and then you're ready to go ahead and start steaming and ironing. When you're done ironing, unplug your iron and let it cool for approximately 15 minutes. At that time, you can unscrew the cap and dump the water out. Or you can store your iron with the water left in. The next time you take your iron out to use it, remember that you may have left water inside the boiler. And at that time, you can unscrew the cap, dump the water out, and start with another fresh cup of water. The Eurosteam is a hot iron and it will burn your skin. However, the nice feature about it is that you will never burn or scorch any of your fabrics, not even silk. The Eurosteam is so safe, it won't even burn a balloon. This is how safe it will be on all your clothes and all your fabrics. If there is still steam in your iron, never open the safety cap. Always wait until there is no steam, which means there's no water left, or your iron is unplugged and cooled down for about 15 minutes. Always remember to unplug your iron when you're done ironing in order to turn it off. While ironing with the Eurosteam, use bursts of steam with the white button. There is a little bit of weight to the Eurosteam, that way you don't have to push and press down. Let the iron glide and do the work for you. So there are different ways to use the Eurosteam. First of all, you can use it as you would an upright steamer. Take that powerful pressurized steam and go ahead and steam your clothes right while they're hanging. This is wool, for example. Use the white button for steam and gently skim the fabric and you'll see that powerful steam pressure just knocks the wrinkles right out. Also, don't be afraid to use it on things like silk and delicates. 
The Eurosteam is so safe, you can use it on any and all fabrics and they will never burn or scorch. Here is silk. Gently skim the fabric and you can even go over the buttons and beading and sequins and rhinestones. So using the iron on the board, you will love it, especially if you do any sewing or quilting. But here we have silk. Go ahead and use that steam button, even on the board as you iron. You can even go over things like embroidery or any sort of embellishments like sequins or rhinestones. To put crease lines in dress pants, what you will do is line up both pant legs together. You can then take your Euro steam and use the steam button so that powerful pressurized steam will penetrate through all layers. This will definitely cut your ironing time in half because multiple layers are done at once. If your iron isn't performing as demonstrated, it could be because there's no water in the boiler tank. Always fill the iron with water for proper use. It is mandatory to put water in the boiler. Use the white button as you iron for steam pressure. Unlike conventional irons that use heat, the Eurosteam uses steam pressure. The Eurosteam does not get hot like your conventional irons. The way it's designed is to use steam pressure. Use bursts of steam as ironing for best results. If the safety cap is leaking steam, that indicates that it's time to change the O-ring. There are three provided in the box. If need be, take a sharp object to remove the old O-ring. Take your new O-ring and put it on to the bottom of the thread. Make sure never to go past the lower thread area. If your iron is leaking water, there could be a few different reasons why. Number one, you may have overfilled your iron. Always use your measuring cup to properly fill it and never exceed the max line. Number two, it could be possible that you have left water in the last time you used your iron and have overfilled it as well. If your iron is overfilled and spitting water out, take the Euro steam and point it into a safe direction until it stops spitting water. And number three, uh, you may not have waited for the indicator light to shut off. It takes approximately three minutes for the indicator light to shut off and then you can start using the white button for steam. Cleaning is very easy and this will depend on how often you iron, what type of water you're using and if you leave water in the iron. To clean your iron, uh, you will simply just take your measuring cup and fill it up with water, pour it inside the iron and give it a little shake. You can then dump the water out and you will probably see mineral deposits releasing from the boiler. Now for a very deep clean, you will take your measuring cup once again and fill it with half vinegar and the other half water. Pour it inside the boiler system and screw the safety cap back on. You can then plug your iron into a power surge bar and let it heat up and pressurize for approximately three minutes. When the indicator light shuts off, you can then take your Euro steam and gently swish it around. Unplug your iron after you're done and let it cool for approximately 15 minutes. At that time, you can unscrew the safety cap and dump the vinegar and water solution out. You can then rinse your iron through several times until the smell of the vinegar odor dissipates. So if your iron is leaking steam out of the safety cap, it is time to change the O-ring. If need be, take a sharp object to remove the old O-ring. Take your new O-ring and put it on to the bottom of the thread. Make sure never to go past the lower thread area.
If you find there's not enough steam pressure, let your iron sit until the indicator light shuts back off and your full pressure will be back. If your indicator light turns back on while ironing, this is normal. You can continue ironing and you can continue steaming. 